Hello everyone and welcome back to Tuesday. I don't really have a whole lot to say today, but I'm just going to remind you guys again that if you're in Newfoundland, I'm going to the Newfoundland Gaming Expo on August 22nd. And if you are in Seattle or you have tickets to PAX Prime, I will be at PAX Prime, which is August 27th to the 31st. So hope to see you guys there. And today we are going to open some mail. Also, I should point out one more thing. Uh, my door is open today because it's so hot here. So uh, you may see a cat or two in the video. Funny thing about it being hot here is the fact that last month was the coldest July on record for Newfoundland, yet last year was actually the warmest July on record for Newfoundland. I don't know what the hell is going on with the weather here. Okay, so we have a bunch more mail to open today, guys. I had a peek at a little bit of it because uh, I got mail twice, because because the, the mailbox is filling up, so I gotta actually go and get it like once a week now. But uh, I went and checked the mail last week, and I didn't want to have to wait a week, so I opened up a few things, um, but most of the stuff here I haven't opened yet. It's, I got boxes in the mail. When I get packages, I have to open them because it's really exciting, and there was food in it, and I was hungry. Okay, don't judge me. So the first letter today is from Kenneth in Texas, and I can feel the first thing. It is, yep, it's a stegosaurus. I think that's a stegosaurus, right? If I'm not mistaken, it's a dinosaur. Is that good enough? Yeah, it's a dinosaur. Sweet. Hey Matt, I love your videos. You are my second favorite YouTuber. Keep up the good work. I'm dying to see another ARK gameplay, so I got you this dinosaur. Well, um, I will be doing some more ARK. They just released a new game mode called Survival of the Fittest, where it's like a Hunger Games style thing. So I'm probably going to do some videos on that. It's just that the game is super, super uh, grindy. You have to spend hours and hours in your own free time doing stuff in order to do anything fun in the game. That's why there's not many videos on it. But Survival of the Fittest is something you can just jump into and play. So I'm probably going to make some videos on that soon. Um, they just had a big tournament and stuff. So I'm not really sure if it's out. But when it comes out, I'll do some videos on it. This letter is from Inav in Israel. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that properly. So sorry about that. Hi Matt, I'll start by saying you're awesome and I love your videos. I especially love the Sims 4 series, but I really love all of your videos. So thank you and don't stop making videos. Even though you keep saying you'll never stop, I don't take it for granted. And I don't take you guys for granted either. Thank you all so much for watching this video. It means the world to me. It really does. Thank you. Holy crap, this letter is from Australia. I hope it's upside down. Hey Matt, how are you today? I hope you are good. First, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Madison, I'm 14 years of age, and I'm Australian. That's awesome. I think it's really awesome you're from Australia. I always wanted to go to Australia, and I haven't yet. Um, it's really far away. Plane tickets are really expensive. But one of these days, I'm going to go to Australia. Also, Madison drew me this really awesome picture with my, uh, my name and the wizard hat up in the corner. Thank you, Madison. This letter is from a random fan in Texas. Dear Matt, you are so amazing. I love you so much. My favorites of your videos are Sims 4 Funny Moments and Matt in Real Life. Well, you're in luck, because guess what? You're in a Matt in Real Life video. This one is from Brandon in Arizona. He has a picture of me on one side and a little letter on the other. So I'll hold it up like this and I'll read it. Hello, Matt. I hope you like this drawing. I love your videos and I hope you put this in a mail opening video. Thank you very much. This one is from Julius in Germany. It says, Dear Matt Shea, I always wanted to say that you are the greatest of all the YouTubers in my mind. Although some other YouTubers are good too. There are lots of great YouTubers out there and I appreciate you saying that I'm the best. Brandon also included this really awesome piece of fan art. It's got Yandere Simulator, it's got The Visitor, it's got Spore, The Siege, A Kraken, and Citizen Burger Disorder. I think it's pretty awesome. This one is from Emily in Wisconsin. Matt, I love your channel and your attitude. All your videos make me laugh and smile. A lot of YouTubers are too vulgar for my liking, but I think you have a good balance. Thank you, I appreciate that. Emily also sent this. It says, sexiness contained within. Ooh, what could it be? Oh, I think it might be me. Hot damn, that is sexy. This letter is from Indiana and there is a pair of sunglasses in it. Oh shit, you can't deal with it. Dear Matt, my name is William. I'm from Indiana in the US, so we aren't too far. You are one of my favorite YouTubers. When I watch your videos, I always smile. Thank you very much, William. Thank you very much. This one is a second piece of mail that someone's written me. They said, hey Matt, now that I know that you are always happy about handwritten mail, I want to make you happy by writing to you. And because I know you read your mail very carefully, I want to tell you that you are awesome. Thank you so much. They also, uh, they also included this. It's like a mailception. It's a, a hand-drawn picture of me holding a hand-drawn picture of me from, uh, I guess, their previous letter. That, that's kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. This one is from Shannon in Ontario. It says, Dear Matt Shea, I'm seven years old. Wow, that's pretty young. I apologize to your parents. I really want to meet you, and I love your videos from Shannon. 
Um, you may be able to meet me sometime because I plan on going to, um, I plan on going to Ontario probably next year. I know there's a, there's a big convention that happens in Toronto or somewhere in that area. So I'm probably going to end up in Ontario at some point, so maybe you will. Maybe you'll get to meet me. This letter is from Jacob in Newfoundland. I think he already sent me a letter once already. First thing in here is a wizard hat cut out of a piece of paper. Alright, I like that. Wow, they made me a little pouch and it says Wizarditos with, with Wizritos on it. And it, it actually has a Dorito in there. <laughs> I love it. We also have this picture of a wizard hat and it says Wizwords Assemble on it. Hey Matt, I'm sending more fan mail for you. I hope you enjoy it. Your content is awesome and I know you will make it to 1 million one day. The only problem I have with you, whoa, 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 you having problems with me? No, I'm kidding. The only problem I have with you making it to 1 million is the fact you might not be able to interact with your fans as much. I will not end this on a bad note, so have a nice day and keep making the awesome vids. Here's the thing, as I get bigger as a YouTuber, I'm not going to reply less. You're just going to see it less because there's so many of you. So don't think of it as me, you know, not replying to you guys as much. Just think it as you guys replying to me more. Does that make sense? I hope so because I know that's a concern for a lot of people. A lot of people are concerned that, you know, when YouTubers get big, they're just going to stop talking to their audience. It's not that at all. It's not that I'm going to stop talking to you guys. I just can't talk to you 24-7 because I have other stuff to do, like videos to make. And it takes a long time to go through every comment and every reply and things like that. So I'll keep it up to the best of my ability. This is from Wesley in North Carolina. It's, uh, it's... A vial full of glitter by the look of it. Thank you for not, you know, just throwing it in the envelope. I don't know what this is for. I guess we're gonna find out. Well, your videos make me smile every day. I love you. I watch your videos every day. I've been watching since 100,000 and still love your content. I lied about loving you. I never will now cry. Why would you say something like that? <laughs> The letter also says, hope you like glitter. Okay, so it is just random glitter. I'll probably just dump it over Ashley while she sleeps. Don't tell her I said that. This one is from Kay in Illinois. It says, hi Matt Shay, this is my first letter I've written, so it may be a little sloppy. First of all, I just want to say I love your videos. I started watching when I found your Sims 4 bids, which was about eight months ago. You are one of my favorite YouTubers, and I love watching you every day. I hope to see more Sims 4 soon, and other videos for that matter. From Carissa. Thank you, Carissa. She also drew me as an Eevee from Pokemon. That is a damn good looking Eevee. So that is all the normal size letters. We also have uh, this big thing here, and we have a couple other packages as well. This one is from Winter in Illinois. I can only see the back side of this thing right now, but it already looks freaking awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god! Whoa, that, that jumped out at me. <laughs> I flipped it around, and the first thing I saw was this. How do you like that? I'm not gonna lie, guys, this is some of my favorite art I've ever seen. This is the first one. It's me. And it says, I'm the real Wizward. And we also have this one, which just says Matt Shea on it. That is amazing. Thank you. These next two packages I'm going to open are the ones that I already opened already because I wanted to see what was in there. And I was really excited and I had a long time to wait before this video. So uh, this one is from Kyle in San Jose. And Kyle made me a bunch of wooden figures. This one is Patricia Butte looking fantastic. This is Grace and Trip from Facade. Grace has eyes and Trip's eyes fell off in the box. I'll try and put those back on, I guess. <laughs> and this is me. I like these. These are these are funny. I don't know where to put them. I'm gonna I'm gonna lay them somewhere. They need to go they need to go in my room for decoration. Now this one here is probably one of the favorite things I've ever gotten because it has food in it. This is from Carolina in Poland, and she sent me a bunch of Polish chocolate. She said she wanted me to try some on camera. I've already tried a little bit off camera because she included four of these fudge things, so I, I assumed that I could eat some, and I'd still be able to eat them on a video. This one is really soft. It's supposed to be chocolate. It's called a Petitki Lubisi. Petitki Lubisi, that's a great name. I love it. This one is a Bajetsni or something. I don't know how to pronounce any of these words. It's really soft, and it kind of came open, so I'll probably not eat that one. Actually, to be honest, I think I know why it might be open. My cat tried to get in this bag and I had to pull her out, so maybe she's the one who broke into this chocolate bar. I hate you, cat! I hate you! This one is actually something I can pronounce. This is called Aha. Yeah, great pronunciation, right? It's a, I think it's a sesame... I don't know what you call those. Sesame bar? Sesame cracker? Sesame something. Then we have the Milka Tuck, I guess? Tuk? 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 Something along those lines? Yeah? And finally, we have the Croca. I had four of these, and now I only have two because I ate a couple. They are really freaking good. 
My mom makes them as well. They're not obviously the mom doesn't make croquettes, but she makes uh, fudge, and it tastes pretty much identical to this. So I'm just gonna eat it now, just because I'm hungry. So here's what it looks like with the wrapper taken off. It's pretty much just a piece of fudge, and it is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Sugar. I'm pretty sure the main ingredient in these things is sugar, and I am completely okay with that. I think I'm also gonna try this petite key thing. I think it's uh, gonna be kind of like a bear paw. I don't know if you guys have bear paws in Poland, but uh, yeah, it's just like a cookie thing. It feels like a cookie, but it has chocolate on it. It's, it's like a piece of chocolate, and it also shows a bear. So I'm guessing it's just like a chocolate flavored cookie bear. Chocolate cookie bear, let's eat you. Oh, oh look at this. It's actually not chocolate. I expected the whole thing to be chocolate, but uh, it looks like it's um, a normal colored cookie. Okay, so here is our chocolate bear. I'm really disappointed that he doesn't actually have a face. You know, I like it better when my animals have faces. Um, I'm actually kind of thinking now it's gonna kind of taste like a Twinkie. Kind of has that Twinkie feeling to it. Oh, oh, there's chocolate inside of it. There is chocolate inside of it. That is exciting. Holy crap. Mmm. Mmm. It's soft chocolate. The best kind of chocolate you can get. To me, this tastes like a Twinkie, but instead of having cream in the middle, it has this really delicious chocolate. So that is definitely a thumbs up for me, because I love Twinkies. I should probably read the insert on this as well. It says, here's some Polish candy besides Milka, but I just love this. Hope you like them. Can you eat some on video, please? And I did. <laughs> I watch your videos every day, and they're really making my day better, so thank you. No, thank you, because this stuff is delicious. So that brings us to our last package of today. This one is from Michael in Illinois, and it is a box. And I love boxes, okay? Because boxes have things inside of them. According to the customs declaration, this is three toys. Ooh, I'm excited. The first thing in here is actually a mask. I wasn't expecting that. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on. I don't even know what it looks like on the front yet. Okay. Yeah, I think it looked pretty good. This also has like lights on the top, but I have no idea how to turn them on, so I'm just gonna give up. There's also this thing! I don't know what it is! It's nothing I have ever seen before. It's just a green thing with four balls on it. I'm sure there's gotta be something here that tells me what it is. Okay, here we go. Dear Matt, thank you for all your content you put out. I have been watching your videos for about a month. It took me 20 seconds in your video to subscribe, so I decided to give you some stuff. A cool skeleton mask that lights up that I can't figure out how to light up. Some mints and a cool thingy. Oh, okay, this is a manual back massager. Oh, that makes sense. That's what the balls are for, for my back. Can't wait to put these balls on my back, thank you. And there you go, guys, that is all the mail for today. But it did say you would see some cats probably, and you didn't see any cats, so I feel like I owe you a cat. So one second. This is Mia, she's uh, probably a few years old, we're not really sure, we rescued her from a dump. She went to a shelter and then we adopted her. But uh, she's super awesome, she's super loving and uh, affectionate. The only issue is, she loves food, so she's always trying to eat the garbage and things like that, and you can't even lay food anywhere near her and she tries to eat it. But I guess it's just because she spent such a long time in a dump, and when you, you know, when you live in a dump, I'm assuming that you kinda gotta fend for yourself and eat everything you can get. So I don't hold it against her. I would show you Will, but uh, he kinda ran off when I tried to pick him up, so I'm assuming he's not in the mood to be picked up and shown on camera. But uh, he's usually in here crawling around on my desk. He's the one I was worried about because uh, whenever I leave the door open, he crawls in on my desk and he just sticks his face in my face and just rubs my face a bunch and stuff. It's kind of annoying, but it's also kind of sweet at the same time. If you guys do want to see more pictures of my animals, you can totally do that by going over to my Instagram. It should be down below, linked in the description. Um, yeah, I mostly just post pictures of my cats anyway. So if you like cats, it's probably a good place for you. So anyway guys, that is where we're going to end this video. If there's anything you'd like to send me, my P.O. box is going to be down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.